Here we have our strategic overview of our running list of do's and don'ts, which we've really been uh, you know, working on the last couple of months, especially because we've been hearing feedback from existing customers of ours that they are struggling post event where, um, where can we help? So much like, uh, you know, we mentioned earlier, you wouldn't send a generic mail merge to these customers. You are having these personal face-to-face -face conversations with customers. You have their profiles making sure that you're approaching it the same way as you do in person with your post event follow-up and having something ready to go. Don't, um, you know, get back to the office, try and catch up, wait three weeks, send a generic marketing email, one phone call and expect a call back. It's just, it's not going to work that way. It doesn't work for us either. Um, be as repetitive as you can in your messaging. So whatever you are using in your email campaigns, keep the same alignment in your phone call strategy as well. But having something ready to go, emailing um, or outlining a campaign, that way once you get back to the office, you can fire it off right away to keep these conversations going. If you've talked about calendar availability and invites, send those invites immediately, make sure they accept, get on the phone with them if they don't, if that time doesn't work for them, if they need a new time um, to discuss additional stakeholders, just kind of our, our do's and don'ts of, uh, you know, follow up. Yeah. I think of the one-on-one -on -one meetings, just, just like to go back to the execution on site, there's two things you're trying to do. You're trying to find that pain point and you're trying to close the next step right now. What's important is when you find that pain point, you got to document that right away. If you, if you're going to rely on your memory to re, uh, retrieve that pain point after you've had 50 discussions at the event and you know are, are flat on your back exhausted it's not going to happen so you have to have the practice of recording that pain point and then that needs to be replayed to the the guest that you've met with you have to remind them of the pain point that they articulated that's the foundation of the email that confirms the next step. You got to keep taking them back to what their need is, right? And and unfortunately, in our world of people distracted from distraction by distraction, we have to have these repetitions. And I know we're going to get into a little more detail, but it needs to be paired emails and phone calls, not just one and not the other. And there needs to be a cadence or frequency to it in order for the action to be netted. If you don't know how to start the conversation post event, or you're not sure how to set up a cadence or um, timing of how spread out these should be, let us help you. We have templates that we'd be happy to provide to you for um, context and content, when you should be sending them, how often you should be following up. Yeah, we could give you outlines for action. We can give you sample stuff. We could brainstorm with you. You know, there there are also, even though we lay out kind of an idealized process, we understand that it's hard to hit an idealized process and there's going to be imperfections. And sometimes for whatever reason, you aren't going to get to a pain point. That doesn't mean that there isn't a way to, after the fact, get to pain with the way that you communicate, Right. So we're happy to work creatively with you all to try to keep these conversations going and make, make them productive. Yeah, it's a kind of a running joke around the office. You know, I, I don't want to just see you once. I want that long-term relationship. I kind of often refer to our sponsors as my people. I, I want to take care of you guys. Our team is here for you or, uh, you know, we need to make introductions to people that you've lost contact with. We have the relationships with these builders and multifamily companies. Don't hesitate to ask for additional services from us. We're here for you. Um, you know, we're not here for us.